Welcome back to Nancy Drew's Secret of Shallow Ranch. It's time to saddle up, Bob, and get going. This is the thing it warned you to always pull up before you go out. Come on, Bob. Or else funny things will happen. All right. I'm ready. And here comes the test. Ready for some questions? Uh, you bet. You bet. Where's the horse's hocks? Oh, man. I was hoping to remember this. And well, let's see. Where are the horse's hocks? It'd be on its back legs. On its back leg. That's one out of ten. Ask me something else. Where's the horse's frog? A horse's frog? It's on the bottom of a hoof. On the bottom of its hoof. Two out of ten. Got a long way to go. Ask me something else. How tall is a horse that's fifteen head? It'd be funny if uh Tex would also read the scroll down for more answers part. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, the answer is, uh, five feet. Five feet. Three down, seven to go. Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? That would be a gated horse. A gated horse. That's four right. Ask me something else. How can you tell if a horse is colicky? It keeps lying down, then standing up. It keeps lying down, then standing up. That's five. You're halfway there. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A bay has black points. A bay has black points. Bingo. That was number six. Ask me something else. What tribe bred the first Appaloosas? The Nez Pierce. The Nez Pierce. Seven down. You're in the home stretch. Ask me something else. What part of a horse is most likely to be hurt when it founders? Its feet. Its feet. Eight right. Just two to go. Ask me something else. What part of the saddle should you always check before you head out on the trail? That would be... The cinch. The cinch. This here's your final question. I'm ready. What is a mule? That is the offspring of a female horse and a male donkey. The offspring of a female horse and a male donkey. Well, you answered all the questions right. And I can tell by the way you sit, you ain't gonna go falling off for no good reason. So you're free to ride outside the corral. Just don't go galloping all over the place. Because if you bring old Bob back all hot and sweaty, you can kiss your cowgirl days at Shadow Ranch goodbye. All right, well, let's go. Okay, Bob, what do you say we do some sightseeing? Do we not go in now to get some various gifts? I was a little concerned there. And we're here. Faster loading time than, well, that was faster than in Ghost Dogs, but just you wait till I have to go further away. Anyway. Hi, can I help you? Hi, are you Mary Yazzie? That's me. I didn't hear a car. Did you hike in or come by horse? I rode here. I'm Nancy Drew. So where are you staying? Shadow Ranch. I heard what happened last night. Tough break for the Raleigh's. Getting that place going has been a real struggle for them. How did you hear about it? Word gets around. Here, I have something for you. Bet wanted me to give you this. Great. I want to buy a small piece of property from them. It must be their response. Bad news? They rejected my offer. Well, I guess that's that. But as long as you're here, look around. All the jewelry you see, all the rugs, the beadwork, the pottery, they were all made by local artists, including yours truly. So if you want to know something, especially if you want to know how much something is, just ask. I understand that you bought a trunk full of junk from the Raleigh's recently. That's a nice rhyme. Yeah, they didn't want much for it, so I took it off their hands. Problem is, I still don't know what's in it because I can't figure out how to open it. Have you asked the Raleigh's about it? They were no help, although they did offer to buy it back from me. I just told them to keep looking for a way to get it open. Are there many petroglyphs around here? If you take the trail to Cougar Bend, there are hundreds. A lot of them were probably made by the Anasazi. They lived in the area until about 700 years ago, when they just suddenly picked up and left. It was great talking to you. Catch you later. Yay for your Arizona history. That's Charlena Purcell. Yeah, is that number gonna go in our book? Yeah, it does! Sweet! Apparently it's more valuable than the other numbers. Oh, this game! Well, this is a fun little mini game that can get old fast if, you know, you have to get stuck playing in a long time. But I learned a way to not have to get stuck playing it for a long time, so... We just get to beat it once and never play it again. Alright. Level 2! I'm trying to see if I can remember this by muscle memory. Not even gonna look at what the solution is. Oh, I got this by muscle memory. 
Let's see if I can tackle level 3 as well. Level 3, the strategy was up and then all the way over. You fake out Mr. Wolf, he comes to you, and then you let him follow you. And then just head onto the hole. Sweet! Muscle memory's fine. Cool. An old token. Or something. Cool. We'll take that. And then there's there's actually some cool stuff to see around here. Uh like that. Arrowheads. Go away. Uh we have some pictures of Arizona and Hey! Wasn't done. Now I'm done. Oh whoops, we can actually read that. It's talking about the petroglyphs of the Southwest. Oh ha ha! So this is the South. Good to know. Good to know. That was the sound of a car driving by. Not much traffic out here. Do not enter when flooded. Tuning forks. Cool. You need to do local antiques, ask for details. I won't. That trunk looks really open. Would you mind if I try <laughs> to get this open? Please do. In fact, if you get it open, I'll let you keep something from it. You can have your pick. Alrighty. So. This one's unfortunately not quite as easy as there's no, like, magic clock you can just look at. And this is an awesome song. They usually say this one for when you're riding in the desert. Spoiler alert, I guess. You get to, uh, go riding in the desert. Is that really such a spoiler, though? It's a game in Arizona. I got the trunk open! Great, thank you. Go ahead and take something from it. You deserve a reward. That's just an autopilot there. Cool. That watch is what you want, and if you remember, there it is, the watch. We can take this pokey thing that we got from the other chest. Bingo! And there you go. The oh, wow! That's rare. It'd be rare if I'd been able to solve it all in one go. Alas. Ah. 9, 1, 7, 11, 5, 3. Who knows? Anyway, is that it for Mary's? Nope, not quite. Got some fun stuff here to read about. Is there anything to say to Mary before we head on out for the day? Hi, can I help you with something? I won something that looks like a token when I played that game over there. What is it? They actually used those for something back in the 1880s, but I don't know what. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. All right. Now let's go ahead and... Yes, there have been areas that have been added to our list now that, you know, we talked to Mary. Trail stop, and then whatever the last place was, I forgot. Cougar Bend? Cougar Bend. I won't be at trail stop, though. Because there's some, uh, arrowheads you can find. And you can just enjoy, like, you know, Arizona countryside. Here lies Charlie, best meal wolf ever lived. Never asked for me, never kicked me or nothing. Rip. 1880 scary music? Game, you should be playing scary music here. What's so scary about being here? Actually. That might be rattling sound. I mean, there's a rattler snake there. Oh, scary. I think I'll let Bob do the walking. All right. That I might think be... I'll let yes, Bob I know. Do That's all we can do at the trail stop for the time being. Glad I stopped there. <laughs> now, here though, you can continue your quest for arrowheads. There's a few around here, or absolutely nothing. Oh, and then there's this puzzle you can start doing. That one's right. I actually forgot which one, what symbol that was. I was right. Clearly, we also saw another one. Uh, was it this one? We'll see. No, it's this one. This guy goes over here. This thing will start spelling out magical understanding a little later, but for now, you just want to start- whoops. Missing every slot! Go me. Just start filling in things where you can. This guy goes down here. This guy goes right here. 
If I had a rope, I could lasso that tree branch and pull myself up. And that we can't do. Cool. There's a few more symbols you can see from my current vantage point. That all the symbols, why don't you? We'll do them one at a time. Just to keep this straight in my head. This guy goes over here. I could guess and pray for the next one. Don't know why I was like, oh, now I'm gonna turn my head away now that I'm talking. This one goes, I think that's there. Did I miss one? Uh, there should be one more. Oh. Uh, this one then. Hey! There. I think that's good for now. Um, yeah. So we're gonna head back to the... How many airheads do I have? Two. Are there not... Any more arrowheads creeping around here? Aha! I thought there was one. Maybe there'll be some more too. Any more arrowheads? No? Okay. Well, I'm here. I think I saw something. Uh. No? Aha! Another arrowhead. I'm gonna try and keep track of those as we go. Anyway. Uh, for now, I think we can actually leave. <sighs> Honestly, I'm just going to enjoy the music. Cool. Take the saddle off. And go put it away. Don't care about the rail run. Listen to the electric guitar music goes wham wham. Oh. Uh oh, I better put that back. Happy birthday. Oh my gosh, Jane Lynch is Tex's sister. Did you say something, Nancy? I couldn't hear you over the guitar. Okay. Well, let's talk to Tex about what we just saw. Or look at this. The pink cattle feed. You still here? You sound surprised. You and your friends, if they ever show up, you ain't gonna last more than three days out here. Well, I hope you like surprises, Tex, because you're in for one. City folk can't take living out here. Too rugged, too much work, too dangerous. I need a rope. Do you think I could borrow yours? Nope. Well. I understand you have a sister named Jane Nash. So what if I do? I found a pretty nasty letter from someone named Jane Nash in the Raleigh's desk. That don't mean it was my sister. Hey, you've been snooping, haven't you? In the Raleigh's stuff? In my stuff? I'm just very observant, that's all. My business ain't none of your business. And that includes any sisters I may or may not have. You need to go. I'm busy. All right, you be busy. We'll leave you be. Huh. Well, it's okay, it's night. And she'll be coming around the mountain when she goes. You lay. I can't take any more. Where are you going? You can't leave. The Raleigh said we were to have a cookout and entertain our guest. Yeah, well, I don't call this entertainment. It's worse than whatever that stuff was you cooked. That was lamb ragu for your information, and it was great. If you couldn't appreciate it, it's because your taste buds are about as sophisticated as a sand fleas. I think I'll turn in too. Night, ma'am. Next time, just stick to burgers. That too, Brute. You see that? You see what I put up with? Day in and day out, I cast my culinary pearls before ungrateful, uncultured swine. Well, I'll show them. I'll write a best-selling cookbook, that's what I'll do. Then I'll get my own TV show, then I'll do a movie, and while they're out here punching cattle, I'll become a gazillionaire. Oh my gosh!
And you say this happened right after that phantom horse showed up again? The pump house blew just as the horse was galloping away. Oh, my, this is awful. Maybe Shorty was right. Maybe that horse is a bad omen. I'm more inclined to think that someone is using that horse to divert attention. What do you mean? It's possible that while everyone's attention was on that horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. Why on earth would someone sabotage the pump house? Someone may be trying to chase you off the ranch. But why? That I don't know. Yet. You don't think Tex or Shorty or Dave is somehow involved, do you? It's possible, but I just don't know yet. Oh, my. You might not be safe there. Maybe we should send her home. I'll be fine. Really, I want to help. And I can help. Well, it sounds like we could certainly use your help. Can you think of anyone who might have a grudge against you? No, but I'll tell you what. Ed and I will put our thinking caps on, and if anything comes to us, we'll call you. Have you called the sheriff and told him all this? Not yet. Tell her about the storms. Tell me about the what? The storms. You need to be careful when you go riding because it can be sunny one minute and pouring down rain the next. I'll be careful. Good. And if you have any more questions, just call. One more thing. Until I figure out what's going on, it would probably be a good idea not to mention my suspicions to anyone at the ranch. Of course. Keep in touch. I will. Bye. All right. Well, we got, I guess we better call Hernandez and see what he has to say about this mess. Hernandez. This is Nancy Drew. I'm the one who's staying at Shadow Ranch. I remember. In fact, I spent a good part of last night out there. I know. I never got a chance to talk to you. Is there something I can do for you? Nothing. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Really? I get, okay, Hernandez is worthless. Good to know. That's what's up with you. Where are you guys? You've got to get out here. I saw the Phantom Horse last night. Know what we saw last night? The inside of a motel room in St. Louis. St. Louis? Our plane finally took off at 7 last night. We didn't call you because we wanted to surprise you. Only the next thing we knew, we were being diverted to St. Louis on account of bad weather. So the airline put us up at a motel. But when we came back to the airport this morning, guess what? You're fogged in. We're fogged in. I have never seen fog this thick. Visibility's three feet tops. You can barely drive in this stuff, let alone land and take off. Let's change the subject. So you saw the phantom horse? Last night, right after the campfire, this glowing horse appeared out of nowhere, then went galloping away. And right after that, the main pipe in the pump house sprang a leak. Another case of bad luck? I think not. So while everyone's attention was on the horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. First the rattlesnake, now this. Yikes. That's it for now. Stay in touch. That's an order. Now, we're going to end things off talking to the Hardy Boys. I want to end up talking to Hernandez, but he doesn't want to talk to me. Now what? Hi, Frank. Nancy! What a relief. Your client's still bugging you? He calls every 3.25 minutes. You can set your watch by him. But the good news is, he's being so obnoxious that we're working faster than we've ever worked before. We're going to solve this case in record time. Like they say, every cloud has a silver lining. Uh-oh. Incoming call. Think it's him? 3.25 minutes. It's him. Want me to hang up? No. He can leave a message. So what's going on there? Just hints? I don't want to just talk. Well, you know what? We can just waste time talking. I could sure use a hint when it comes to using that piece of paper Dirk left for Francis to keep track of where the rock pictures are. Just look for petroglyphs. And when you see one, mark its position on the grid. Eventually, a message will appear. If you're careful. Catch you later. Sounds good. Bye. Well, these people are worthless. I want to talk about fun stuff and they don't want to talk to me. We will stop here though, and next time, maybe someone will want to talk to me. See you guys then.